and yeah, now Each it's Isengard. Army has been destroyed, but Saruman and his remaining forces must be brought to reckoning. Yeah, basically we didn't kept any, um, yeah, any elves. We have 90 archers, 25 peasant, and 35 Rohirrim. Uh, yeah, no elves, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know why we kept the Rohirrim. Hmm. Peasants are five squads of peasants. Yeah, we'll see. Let's go to Isengard. Isengard, an ancient fortress of Gondor. It was entrusted to the wizard Saruman, who betrayed that trust and joined the enemy. Ooh. Oh no, I hate this mission. Uh, I mean... Pretty good cutscenes. Yeah, basically, yeah, I I can't say that I really. <laughs> Will you let me speak, please? Treebeard, we have to destroy Isengard. It's the only way to help our friends. The last part of the end is going to be a good one. Okay, with those ants we'll go here and deal with this guy and with Mary and Pippin go here and deal with this guy and just deal with this one. Yeah, I will tell you again why you're here. And now I can buy this elven wood. And yeah. Where are the hobbits? They are late to the party. I mean And you come here. You are nothing. Okay. I will save. Uh, because I don't want to watch all these cutscenes again because I forgot to save and yeah one of the hobbits just gets completely destroyed by Saruman's fireball which doesn't do too much against ants but against hobbits again it appears that one uh... okay okay Attack these guys, you guys kick rocks and attack here. Uh, where is the rest? You pick rocks and attack here. Okay, you set pick rocks. And uh, yeah, the hobbits go and deal with those archers. Um, where are those guys? Um, I will deal with the hobbits. Uh, you come here also. And, yeah, deal with them. Just trample them. That's all you have to do. Trample them. Don't let them get upgrades. And then start destroying their upgrades. And you come and yeah, deal with everything else. Uh, and I don't know where Saruman is. You start dealing with these guys. And leave the hobbits to deal with everything else. Okay, the ants should deal with this one. Um, so 
they are. They dealt with it, they should deal with this one. Kill hobbits, go and attack these ones. Okay. You should deal with this one. Deal with this one. You go, run, run. You are not fighters. You are just here to help the ants. Okay. And here we, we deal with... Um, him. Go here. Where? Where? Go here. Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay. You. Run back. You run into the water. Okay. It seems. Yeah, no. Okay, it seems that's harder than I thought, and it would have been so easy if I have saved when I killed like Saruman. I guess that Saruman arrives after I killed a certain number of buildings, and yeah, he starts like, hmm, I have to see how I can deal with him. I will bring them here, everyone bring him, them here, like here and where is you you come and bring it here and bring as much as i can and and let's try again so yeah okay let's all of them start wait aren't you going to pick rocks and throw them so yeah. Hmm. Yo guys, why are you not dealing with that? So deal with this one. At some point like Saruman just stay there and took it like a bro and that make my life so much easier. Uh you guys, what are you not doing dealing with them? Well, come here and start trampling them. Oh yeah. Okay. Deal with this one. You come and come here. Hmm. Let's bring them here. Oh. He just escaped by some miracle. Hey, you guys, deal with them. And you also deal with them. Okay. Well, we shall move forward and just trample, guys. Those guys who got upgraded and attack them. Uh, you are on fire, so you retreat as quickly as you can. Because, yeah, you have to retreat. Okay. Okay. You deal with. Oh, come on, deal with him. Just... Hmm. Okay, 
Bamber and Saruman is dealing. Ha! Oh, he died. Great, great. Yo. Run. Run and run. You go. And you start dealing with those archers. And yeah. Hey. Go and just heal yourself. Okay. I deal with Saruman, so now I should save again because I don't want to redo this all kind of thing because Saruman sometimes it's like whew, really fast and goes everywhere and sometimes it's like a, such a slow guy like he's like oh I'm just chilling I'm just staying in one place and barely do anything and I'm like well hope, hope you like it so yeah and these guys they will come here and yeah we'll start slowly approaching they have like a lot of troops here but what i should do use my range and the hobbits Oh, they can't came here, but like closer. Yeah, you are warriors of the Shire. And they come here. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly deal with them, hopefully, and Mary and Pippin come here and deal with those enemies. And yeah, with their production things done, hey, attack them. Why are you not attacking them? Deal with this one. What about my breakfast? Let's take a walk. Quickly, over here. Come on. Okay, I was paying a bit of attention, so my com commentary has suffered uh, because of that. So, they should continue. And, yeah. Let's see how much can we truly make. It seems like they trying to upgrade everything really didn't pay off as they thought. Because they kind of run out of money to make tro troops, which is not a b bad thing actually. Okay, they are doing no more troops actually, which is interesting because yeah, I didn't thought they would run out so quickly of troops. I was thinking that they it will take at least some some time and Pippin and Mary come here so yeah I think I did all my bonus objectives I mean the last one I will do it later yeah now destroy their building you just so I'm sure that Oh, some courage here. Yeah. You come and deal with them. While the ants are thrashing everything. So yeah. They are retreating to the dam, of course. <laughs> the Hobbits will slowly grind for some experience. Hmm. So yeah. It will be fine. I will bring the ants a bit back. 
um, maybe not that bad <laughs> because they kind of took more they could handle so I will just quickly keep the, an eye on them and <laughs> so yeah now they can deal with them it's only a monster well they are Urus don't forget who capture you and if you forget they were the Uruks who capture you so yeah okay let's save again just so yeah we make sure if we don't lose anyone so anyway uh, what I was saying about Hell's Deep and the cloud break it was like I while playing the mission I was thinking that this is exactly what happened when in a figurative way when uh, God sent Jesus into this world it was darkness like 400 years like the Israelites didn't hear anything about God it, it was like God forget got them and then they just uh, heard that well Jesus has came like lights breaking the darkness that stopped everything for being Follow good me. Me. so yeah it's, it's it's interesting and also like on this good this part way. of things it's like well you okay it's like well you can uh, like the darkness can never, never win against the light. No, oh, two more ends. Like no matter how hard it tries, like the darkness can never, ever win against the light. It can try, of course. No, there's no denying it. You can try to win against the light, as the darkness, but you will never be able to do it because in the end light always always win and yeah that's all that it's about the fact that yeah light always wins even though like there are some small setbacks uh, or it looks like there are some small setbacks like in Ukraine with Solidar uh yeah it looks like it's a setback but yeah, actually maybe it's not such a big setback it's just like a battle that might be lost but it's not the war and yeah as in this in every war you can lose a battle or you can win a lot of battles but what matters like in the end is who wins the war and yeah like today at work I had like an interesting uh, uh, like on the devotional I had to keep the devotional and uh, one interesting thing that I was thinking uh, regarding that was the fact that yeah um we as christians uh our lives uh, what we are serving we are serving a very powerful god like there is no other god powerful more powerful than him and sometimes we tend to forget this this thing like we tend to forget what kind of God we are serving and yeah it's it's interesting this this fact um, like we we tend to forget but when people other people look at uh, yeah Jesus even like uh, the John the apostle who actually was like well he was the most beloved apostle of Jesus when he saw like he truly was he it was said that he called to 
it fall uh, to to the ground like that and yeah one and another thing that was interesting it was the fact that um yeah we we serve someone very powerful and we should be careful how we are like uh, reporting our, ourselves to him like we can um, we can be like very mm, arrogant or yeah misbehaving and but actually we should not forget that he created heaven and earth and we are nothing to him and serving him actually is a privilege and that was the idea that uh, serving him is a privilege so we have to as christian live our lives in a way in which we honor him like if you get like let's say the honor of serving like uh, the president of uh, united states let's say or i don't know uh, very powerful like guy on this earth you i think i mean we will uh, do our best to serve him as best as we can but uh, sometimes with god it's like we are not doing the same okay you run back i mean you run back and get yourself like uh, uh, healed yeah and then we have to do like the best we can if you run back because we have to be careful about them okay so we go like this one uh, I will put them in like groups of four or five guys so basically we have to yeah they will destroy this one and we have to be careful about that one so yeah basically we should be very careful about how we serve uh, that water. you run back uh, who is the one who is burning you get into the water okay so yeah they deal bonus damage but yeah you are a bit sick so you go back <laughs> I like how they are doing like oh. let's see how much do we pull so yeah basically uh, going back it's an honor to serve him so yeah we should be very very careful how we are doing it because there is al always the tendency to give like to give the best to every like give the best to every everyone else than God like we give their best at work in school but when it's about uh, God's work we are not doing the best and yeah that's not how it should be like uh, we should give always always give the best you come here uh, run run back run back run back run back uh, and get in you go out so they can get in Okay, we have just some guys, not a lot left. So, 
you can go and deal with them you can go and deal with them and you can go and deal with them let's see how will we do Okay, I guess they are doing a wonderful job dealing with them. Huh. Okay. And I like how they are just staying and taking it like pros. No problem about that. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, just deal with them. And you deal with them. And the rest of the ants go and deal with this one and let's see how many ants can we can we have mm. and yeah Oop. run back okay now Okay, you just deal with the little guy here, and yeah, we are almost ready. Can I get two more ants? Yeah, not quite. Unfortunately, that we can't quite deal. Okay, so now we are going to just walk through them. Also, all the other ends to start dealing with those guys. Even the less fortunate ones. I like how they are cowering before the might of the ends. They are like, no, we don't want to fight you. And we are like, no, it's too late. You want it to be evil, you have to be evil to the end. Which it's. What's concerning is the fact that at some point, like, people will would will want, will start to want to repent and they will not be able to, which is pretty bad. I mean, in the last days, uh, go and start doing. I I want to see how they are breaking it and they don't have to break it it all uh, it's like when it starts to be red yeah it's over we won it took us another hour but yeah, we won <laughs> yeah it's really nice Of course, I guess there will be some ants that are on fire, if I am not mistaken. Oh no, they didn't show that, because no ant was on fire ever. Don't believe the lies, the propaganda. They, they are wrong. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, basically the idea is we should do things for God to the best we can, to give our best when working for Him. So yeah, total victory to power and 10% resources. Let's continue. We have taken Isengard.